Hello. Hey, it's Bridget. I hope you can hear me. I don't have a mic on. And I'm standing by the waterfall. It's beautiful. Look at it. It's beautiful. I had to come into town to do a drop off at the post office. So I went to my favorite little place, little coffee shop that, oh, nice hair bridge. Woo, here we go. Went to this coffee shop that I love that I haven't been to in months. Mmm. Locally owned. And I got a gingerbread latte thing. Hey, oh, somebody's saying hello. Hi, Don. Nice to see you. Hey, doll. Do you know, did I ever tell you? Here, let me fix this hair. This hair's like really like winging all over, but that's all right. It is beautiful here. It is so beautiful. Oh, wait, I got to go back to Don. I got to tell you something. So, you always say doll, like as a term of endearment, right? My dad used to call me doll when I was like a baby. He used to call me his little dolly. That's what my mom told me anyway. I don't remember because I was like a baby, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, so gingerbread, I think it's mocha actually, you guys. Let me just taste it again. Mmm, mm -hmm. So we're gonna walk a little bit. Oh, oh look. The way is blocked off, so we're gonna have to go the long way, I guess. That's weird, random. So random, but I see somebody coming up the stair stairway here. I wonder if it's blocked off. Maybe it's dangerous. Dun dun dun. Should we just go down it anyway? <laughs> oh yes, I see this. This young person just stepped right over. All right, so let's just do that, you guys. Let's be rebels together. I'm a loner daddy, a rebel. All right, let's just see if there's a way that I can flip this over so you don't have to stare at me and you can see the beautiful scenery as we walk together. Yes, okay, so see? Ooh, you guys, guys, feel a little rebellious? Come on. Okay, so I went into the... Oh, it's not that bad. I, and it's not scary, look. So I came into town to go to the post office because I had to mail out a package. I mailed out one of my crystals for my crystal channeling service that I offered. It was a package I shared on Fairy, Grasshopper, YouTube. Hope you guys follow me there and watch my videos. I just did a mega long vlog this week too, like an hour long one. It'll be awesome. It'll be good for when you're like wrapping presents and doing stuff later. So I sent out something for somebody. Her name starts with an S. So and to answer your next question, which you will totally ask me, do I have more crystals left for channeling? Yes, I do. But we'll see if I, I think I'm gonna take some time off though, so we'll see. We'll see if I decide to do those in December or maybe wait till January. So look at this view, isn't it gorgeous? So you probably noticed I didn't have a hat on, right? I still don't have a hat on. Why might that be? Because it's like in the 50s. I'm not kidding you. It's like 52 degrees right now. It's gorgeous. I have my Grinch sweatshirt on. Oh, let me show it to you here. Just a sec here, guys. I tried to do this on Instagram. Hey, Nash. Nice to see you. Awesome. Woohoo. Glad you're here. All right. So let's see. Let's flip this around. Okay. Can you see me now? Okay. I'm going to show you guys my Grinch, my Grinch sweatshirt. Okay, just a sec. <laughs> Probably look funny. <laughs> I'm standing on the path. I'll show you guys my Grinch sweatshirt here, just a minute. Okay, let's set this down. Let's set this down. Yes, it is beautiful here, very beautiful today. Oh, so sunny. Okay, so I gotta show you my Grinch sweatshirt. Yeah, okay, but I need to see my Grinch sweatshirt. Can you see it? Oh, can you see it? It's soft and fuzzy. It's soft and fuzzy. It literally feels like a blanket. And I got it at Kohl's online. Hey, Kohl's, if you want to sponsor me at all, I totally would appreciate it. I don't usually buy stuff at Kohl's, though. No offense. I just don't. I just don't. Okay, so let me get situated again, and I'm going to show you the swans. I know you're thinking, Bridget. Swans, what are you talking about? Oh, we have swans. Yes, we do. And did you know swans are very spiritual? Twin flame and all that. Let's go check out the swans. Okay, 
So let's see. Oh, Chris is on here too. Hey, Chris. Nice to see you. Aww. All my PRD friends. Aww. Okay. So let's turn this around. I'm gonna head over here. I'm gonna have a sip of our gingerbread yummy mocha latte thing. Oh, it's so good, you guys. I've been craving gingerbread like nobody's business. I think it's because technically today I would have been on my way back on a flight back from Orlando, Florida for my annual Disney trip that I had to cancel. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I, it's hard to feel too bad, right? Because other people are dealing with a lot worse. And hey, Tracy, nice to see you. Hey, Becca, nice to see you too. Hey, Becca, I, I sent you a message. I responded to your email, just saying. So you know. And Canada, hey, hey, cheers. Okay, so what was I talking about? Oh, God forbid, man. I can't even remember anything okay so we're gonna look at the the swans today first and i'm gonna complain about disney but not too much because i have my health my kids are healthy we've had probably five or six covid tests in our house not to work so let me see can i zoom in on them oh i can look you guys look 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 so did you know that swans mate for life so here's the story this is a different couple. One of the swans, there's actually three. There's another one around here somewhere, or there was. And the mate to that one passed away a year or two years ago. And so another one came. And now they're all getting along real well, but... Oh, there he is. Look at that. Popping the head up, looking at what's going on around. Hey, hey. Swans, yeah, amazing. That's why they're twin flames. That's why they're, hey, here's a tractor going down the road. That's just the little farm road right up there. Yeah, going right down the main street. Right by the fire department. I'm going to turn over there. <laughs> I live in a small town, which is weird because I never grew up in a small town. I didn't go to school in like a super small town. I just never been a small town type except married my hubby who lives in a small town and grew up in a small town and invited me into the small town atmosphere and I just really, I just embraced it, I guess. But I do like some adventure, let me say. There are many beautiful parts of the world I would love to see, love to see, specifically the United Kingdom, Ireland, parts of Europe. It would be cool to go to the Netherlands, to Sweden, Scandinavia. I got, I have personal family lineage lines there which you might have guessed, but there's just something quaint and appreciative right now about just being in a small, small town environment. Although I have to say, right about the political time from the middle of the summer through the election here in the United States, it was stressful because small town, rural, considering, consider, we're kind of, cons we're considered rural, but I'm like 35 minutes or so from all of America, if you know Minnesota at all, and from the airport. So I'm not real far, well, maybe 40 minutes from the airport, not that far out of the cities or anything like that. I can get to St. Paul in 35 minutes, but still outside enough where there's a lot of, um, rural value systems let's just say that so that part was kind of stressful like we just we go on walks in town because we live out on the uh, country a little bit we come into town here to go on walks because it's nice and kind of where my hubby grew up and stuff and his family still there's family lives all around here so we see them every once in a while when we're walking but yeah, I guess it's a balance, you know, it's a mix. Let's have another uh, drink. Let's have another drink of our latte, mocha thing, which by the way, does not have dairy in it. Got it made with a vanilla, uh, almond milk. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna ramble, you guys. Oops, sorry. I am not a camera person, obviously. Not a camera person. Oh, I wanna show you guys one of my favorite bridges. I love this bridge here. We got to go to the bridge here. Let's go for a walk. 
I'm surprised there's not more people out. Oh, there's a few. Here comes somebody walking. I'll try to go on this side, so. I brought my mask with me just in case I need it. Hey, will you guys do me a favor and put some hearts in there or some thumbs up emojis so that I can see that there, that I'm still live streaming because I can't tell if I am or not. Can you tell me? Oh, thank you. Good, good, good. I can't tell. Thank you. <laughs> oh, you guys, I needed a break today. So I only have one more session left. Technically, I was supposed to be done on Monday, but I had a little bit of a reschedule with the client. So I have one on Friday, which is fine. And then I'm going to be done with private sessions for 2020 taking a little break from that and give me some space to create. I have a really, I am really looking forward to creating. I'm doing a class in January. So watch for announcements here on Bridget Inspired on Facebook about that. And I'll also post it on Fairy Grasshopper YouTube channel and Above Life channel YouTube about it. So you guys can attend if you'd like. I need to do some more teaching type class engagement stuff. See, this is one of my favorite bridges, you guys. Seriously, I love this bridge. I just love it. Now look, isn't it just so cool? It's like so awesome. So here's the best part of this bridge. You get two sides of an experience because one side is the water kind of coming in, flowing in, a little bit louder. And the other side, super mellow. And I just, I just love this. I just love, here, let's touch this. Isn't this just awesome? Like I just love, love this. It just feels so awesome, doesn't it? Just, oh, amazing. Just, yeah, nice, tall, grounded. I love this. Look at the, oh, I just love it. I love it. I love bridges. I wonder why, that's my nickname. I grew up with my family calling me Bridge. So here we go, look at this part. Isn't this beautiful? Look at, check it out. It's so gorgeous. Look at that. Hmm, this river is usually way filled up on the banks. Not today, not yet. It's pretty dry. If you look, it's pretty dry over there. And then the cool part is, so let me just make sure I'm not gonna run into any bikers or anything. So we're gonna turn around turn around slowly and we're gonna come to this side are you ready this is such a metaphor for life right now isn't it look at this side ooh ooh I'm noticing I hope you guys can see this can you see the pattern in the water yes you can I can see it on the video doesn't the pattern look like a leopard a cheetah maybe it's a cheetah for those Glennon Doyle fans a cheetah woohoo <laughs> but look at this. Look at this side. Just peaceful. Mellow. Just moving along. Peacefully flowing. Not a lot of water here. There's some on this side. There's a little bit of a shallow part where the mud is showing. And then there's a little bit of some water flowing on this side too. Options, opportunities, my friends, a metaphor for life. Which phase are you at in this river today? Which phase are you relating to? Which phase are you relating to? I see um, Becca saying, I always look over the bridge. I always have to look over a bridge. Yeah, well, guess what? This one's really high. It's like chest height. So I can rest my arms and shoulders on it. And it's very, I feel very safe on this bridge. <sighs> See, there's people walking. Hey, you're on YouTube. You're famous. You're YouTube famous now. 
That's my Peter Mon impression. Peter Mon is the guy that does vlogs. Hey, UPS, you go, deliver those packages. Deliver those packages. Go, 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 go. You can do it. Come on, you guys. Come on. Cheer him on. Go, go, go. Cheering for the brown shorts and the brown shirts. Okay. So Peter Mon is a vlogger that I've watched off and on. He's dealt with addiction himself and his life, and he's just got some really... Very balanced insights, I think. And he does a lot of, he's got like five different YouTube channels. If you want to check him out, you can. And he does some good, I like his Peterisms videos where he talks about daily affirmations and that kind of thing. He's, he's fun. He's fun to watch. He does some reviews too. So he seems like a very sweet soul. So recommending that for your vlogging needs because you and I both know that even if you're working, you're listening to YouTube vlogs. Should be listening to mine, by the way. Go back and listen to your favorite playlist, okay? Could use that right now. We could all use those pick-me-ups, can't we? Oh, let's see, Tracy. Oh, hey, Tracy. If you're interested in working with me, yeah, it's a process. Let me just tell you, especially for private sessions. For group sessions or group stuff, I'm creating a class for everybody. It'll be a much more affordable, economical way for us to connect and get to know each other and for you to get the support that you need on this interesting fantastic voyage of life that we are living right now um but if you are interested and very determined to get into private session work with me i do intuitive coaching work so i have a different style i'm not just a psychic you don't just do psychic readings with me b -b -b boring we do much more than that because you deserve more than that and i'm much more creative than that anyway <clears throat> not that there's anything wrong with traditional psychic readings because those are so much fun 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 and they have a very good place for us. Yes, they do. Yes, yes, they do. But for my private coaching work, yeah, there's kind of a wait list. So just send me an email. I got like multiple emails. Session requests for Bridget at gmail.com. You can go to my website, abovelifechannel.com. And there's information about services and how to get a hold of me. You can also email me at abovelifechannel.com and just ask to get put on my wait list. I think there's like four or five people right now waiting to get into private session for 2021 and I don't think I have anything left for January but maybe February I can start something up but again it's a three-month commitment minimum because when I'm in relationship I am committed. <laughs> Gotta be silly but thanks Tracy. I totally love that you're excited. You're awesome. Nice energy. And I see, by the way, yours specifically, I have seen, I think, your comments. I was just looking through comments today on YouTube because, you know, I don't really do that very much when things are really busy because it kind of just stresses me out a little bit because <laughs> not everybody's so nice. <laughs> Sometimes people are kind of jerks, but that's because they need a place to vent, you know, whatever. But I think I've seen you make comments. So thank you for that. Thanks for watching the channel. Okay, you guys, let's walk a little bit more here. Let's walk a little bit more. We're just going to push the limits of my YouTube or my <laughs> Facebookness. Oh, let's talk about YouTube, actually. Let's do that. Let's talk about YouTube. Yeah, I agree. I see Tracy commented, it's hard to have mindfulness in this world. Well, that's what's kind of gotten us into some trouble, hasn't it? Hi, see me? See me? Don't worry, I didn't throw my cup anywhere. I have it in my trusty old pocket here. And I don't think it's so much that that has gotten us into trouble necessarily. I probably shouldn't say that. I should say being too much in the mind because we need our brains. Our brains are awesome, good for the brains. We need our brains. You need your brain as much as you need your spirit as much as you need your heart, as much as you need your body. You got to have the whole package. And the challenge has been, I think, alignment for people. And for me, I know, for me too, because, you know, you get pressured and you get pushed and you get, you know, tugged in a lot of different directions. Look, we're like underneath the road here, you guys. Check it out. You see that? Yeah, it's just a bridge. It's just, there's a road up here. Remember when we were chanting the UPS truck down? It's just a road above. But look at how quiet and peaceful it is down here. It's really nice, isn't it? It's pretty. You should see it in the summer when there's like flowers and oh, it's just really beautiful. It's beautiful now, even though it's like the earth is more brown and dormant. 
It's, it's really beautiful. Now, this is a great opportunity. Take advantage of the cues from nature. Look at this, our natural environment. Look at this. Look at these. These beautiful leaves. Look at these leaves. They came from somewhere. There's no tree like right. Oh, it's a little ways away. It's like up here. They traveled to this resting spot here so that they can become one with the earth and the ground, right? Take our cues from nature. This is what we need right now to become one with the earth and the ground. Oh, it feels really good actually just to feel it. Ooh, take a breath with me and feel the earth energy. Hmm. Love that earthy vibe. The browns and the muted tones, I used to be kind of sad about the muted tones and the colors, the browns. And now I, I just find it really calming. I find it really calming, very peaceful. So let's go up here. Ooh, look at the infrastructure here. Look at the infrastructure. Do you see that how the pipe, the water pipe thing is going through here? Infrastructure, it's like a metaphor for life, your infrastructure. It's kind of hid underneath this beautiful like bridge, this minimalist looking bridge thing, but it's still there. So my question to you is, you need to get your journals out, man, and rewatch this, because this is good stuff, right? What is underneath? Ooh, instead of underneath, what is beneath? What is beneath? Hmm, what is when beneath? Beneath, beneath, there's structure. There's structure to everything, isn't there? There is structure, mm-hmm. Can't always see it, but there sure is. Oh yes. So how are you guys feeling today? Can you put in the comments where you're at? Are you working? Are you at home? What, are, what do you guys have on the docket today? Oh, I see we have snow here in Canada, but it's pretty and calm outside. Very nice. Going under a bridge reminds me of a place I was walking in the Czech Republic a few years back. Very cool. Oh, working on a new drawing. Yes, artistry. There we go. Oh, going to work soon. Hey, Priscilla, nice to see you. Working remotely. Oh, yes. Hey, Cambridge, that's not super far from my travels and journeys. I've actually been through that area a time or two when I was headed up to Brainerd, I believe it was. Mm -hmm. I actually grew up in Coon Rapids, Minnesota. And so I know Cambridge just a bit. All right, you guys, there's something else I want to show you. Okay, there's going to be people around. I'm, it's going to feel a little silly, but I might just wave to them and say hello. Oh my goodness, here's the structure, you guys. Structure, look at this. Which side should we be on? Oh my goodness. Hmm. Interesting. I think I'll be on the right side. Hmm. Not so sure. <laughs> metaphor for life. Which lane are you in? Okay. Stay in your own lane. Why? Oh, maybe because people are passing you? Well, what the heck, man? That's just about the flow of things, the rhythm of things, right? We just have to pay attention to our surroundings. We can be in whatever lane we want. As long as we pay attention to our surroundings. Look at this socially distanced gathering. Oh, I'm impressed. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, I had to show you this. Isn't this the coolest thing ever in the history of the world? So, you know, my name is Bridget and the goddess Bridget, she has a well in Ireland and someday I hope to go there to see it. So when I see this wishing well, it reminds me of the energy of the lineage. It's just a regular like well thing. It's not anything super fabulous or fancy, but isn't it just cool? So let's make a wish, you guys. Did you ever do that? Make a wish, wishing well, wishing well? Okay. So make a wish. To do that, etherically, you just take a nice deep breath in. Take a nice deep breath in. 
And when you exhale out, you gift your wish to the well. Gift your wish to the well. Breathe in. And exhale out. Nice. Very nice. Very, very nice. By the way, that old adage is not true that... You know how you've heard, I'm sure, a time or two that if you tell your wish to someone, it won't come true. Well, that's not true. That is not true at all. In fact, part of the problem with us as our human beings is that we, oh gosh, look at this tree. We don't share our wishes and our dreams and our hopes. Do you see my reflection here? Isn't that cool? Look at how cool that tree is, you guys. Is that just not the most beautiful thing ever? Looks like you could just step inside there and cuddle up right inside. Doesn't that look awesome? Look at that. Wow, wisdom guide, wisdom. Should I touch it? Do you guys want me to touch it? Should I touch it? Yeah, yeah. I better touch it, huh? I touch it for us. Okay, here we are. By the way, there's lots of people around me. Ooh, that's nice. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, right. You guys were gonna look way up. Oh. <gasps> Listen, talk about perspective. It's all about the view you have, isn't it? Look at that. Wow. Wow, look at that. Isn't that cool? Look at that, you guys. Hopefully we'll be inspiring some of the artists, some of the authors and the writers that are in our group, the painters, the sketchers. Isn't that cool? Nice. Hmm. Wow, some of the best things are unplanned, aren't they? I didn't plan to do this. I was just going to jump on Instagram for a little bit. But I updated my app and I couldn't figure it out <laughs> readily, easily. So I decided, eh, Facebook, easy peasy. I should try it on YouTube and see. I should try it on YouTube to see if I could do that. I don't know. YouTube's been weird. I don't think YouTube likes me so much lately. They've been weird about my videos. When I've, that's kind of why I've been slowing down a little bit on some of my uploads is because it's just frustrating. I upload stuff and then they don't let me put it online for like two days because they're reviewing it. And But I did, you guys. This is pretty cool. I did get monetized on Fairy Grasshopper, which is great because that's a place where I have a lot of creative freedom. It's not niched, so I can do any kind of variety of intuitive videos, whereas Above Life Channel, I really focus on just channeling aspects and just past people, humans, you know, former humans, former people. I try to keep clarity, you know? So I've been monetized on there for a while because there's like, gosh, I don't know, 15,000 subscribers on there. Well, Fairy Grasshopper I've had for years, like 2012, and finally cracked into the, hey, monetization, yay. The challenge with that, though, is that my content is, you know, not super appealing, so. But because you get monetized, what that means is they look at you really extra scrutiny, with extra scrutiny, because YouTube wants to put their own ads on your videos. Even if I say no to monetization, they can still, I had to sign a thing. They just updated their user contract again for like the hundredth time. And which they can do, they're a business. I'm not mad at them. I'm not mad at all at YouTube. I don't want to sound like that. I really am not. But I think a lot of people that would just watch, including myself previously, didn't really understand how it works. But I had to sign the agreement that said they can do whatever they want and put any kind of ads they want. And they just updated it to say they can put ads anywhere they want in a video. I'm like, what? Even if I say no, they can still do it. So I'm like, well, I might as well get some benefit from the monetization piece. So I monetized it. I said, yes, I want to be monetized, but I don't like your rules. But people think that even if I, people would think that even if I said no to the monetization, they would still think that I was the one that was like, I was getting all this money from all these ads. And it's like, not that that's bad. That's not bad. That's a good thing for small creators and for YouTube channels. It's good to get money for ads. But that's not why I'm in it. <laughs> like, I just want to connect. <laughs> I want to have a place to connect and inspire people and do the work I love, you know. And talking, let's be honest, I like to talk. That's kind of my job. 
and the communication and connection and the spirit in all forms is great. You know, I enjoy that. So lucky for me, that's not like why I'm on YouTube, but it is, it's a little harsh because I think a lot of people I know because I've had some nasty comments on Above Life channel about, well, you just put too many ads in and why are you, and you just care about the money. I'm like, how much do you really think I make on YouTube? Um, Let me just tell you, not even the price of one session a month, okay? Okay. <laughs> it's not, if you want to be... <laughs> <laughs> going to the soup kitchen every day. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. Anyway, so like I say, though, yeah, YouTube is its own little thing, you know, and that's okay. I don't mind it. It's just a delivery system for me. It's a communication channel, channel, channel. So here's the river here. Oftentimes in the summertime, there are people that will fish along here. They will fish. You guys, the sun is gorgeous. Look at the sun. Oh, my gosh. Look at that sunshine. It's beautiful. Ah, so there's my little YouTube info for you. Not that you need to know that, but if you think you're going to start a YouTube channel and make a fortune, um, yeah, maybe. Just like being a singer, musician, entertainer, and not everybody can be Prince, right? <laughs> no matter how talented you are, how long did it take him to get discovered? A while. <laughs> Oh, let's have a seat here. <sighs> hmm. Are you guys still there? Hmm. Let's look over on this side. I think I'm still streaming. Can you give me a thumbs up if you're here still and I'm streaming? Can't quite tell if it's... Oh, thank you. Yes. Oh, I feel the wind, the air element. I really do need to zip my jacket back up again. It's not quite, you know, Florida weather. Oh, Disney, I miss you so much. Oh my gosh, I miss Disney. I feel very, very happy, fortunate, grateful to be able to look forward to an annual trip to Disney. I usually go for like four or five days. And... That's a part that I usually get my batteries recharged. Everybody has their thing. Mine is Disney. And why? No, I know. Over-commercialization. You pay too much for everything there. I know. I know all the downsides. Believe me. <laughs> my pocketbook knows the downsides. But it has a lot of memories for me from childhood and growing up and my dad especially and my parents and, you know, good times. Things that you remember from being a kid that actually is lighthearted, you know. But even more so now for me, it's definitely a, a magical energy of creativity and innovation, imagination, and all those things I just care about so much. The opportunity to be creative, the opportunity to come up with ideas and share them, express yourselves, be an artist, those Imagineers, the people that create those movies and the artists that do the renderings and the drawings and, and the people that come up with those rides at the theme parks, I just freaking blow my mind I mean what a cool cool thing oh you guys have to see this this is neat so I'm sitting here and look at this tree looks like it looks like fingers holding doesn't it look like a hand like a hand holding kind of like this look at this doesn't that isn't that the coolest thing it's like meditating namaste tree namaste isn't that cool can you see it oh wait maybe I'm not doing it right just a sec Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm horrible with the camera. Let's just be honest. Mm -hmm, there it is. There's the hand, the namaste. The namaste tree. Now I'm going to call this tree the namaste tree from now on. Sorry if my uh, video is making you <laughs> seasick. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my goodness. Okay. So connecting with earth and nature. Hey, you guys, thanks so much for spending some time with me and taking a walk with me. Maybe I should try this on YouTube, huh? Might be kind of fun. Look, there's somebody out there exploring. Looking for rocks, maybe? Hmm? Looking for rocks? Isn't it just cool? It's so cool. Just beautiful. Beautiful. This might be one of the last warmer days. So I'm going to enjoy it. 
Hey, thanks so much for being part of this nature walk with me, you guys. We got a lot of the water element with us. We got a lot of metaphors with the bridges and the under part, the beneath of the bridges and the structure that we talked about. The which lane are you in? Which side of the path are you walking on? The wishing well, the beautiful wisdom tree, and of course, our friend, the namaste tree, the namaste tree. Let's go back to the namaste tree. Let's end with that one. Let's get a nice look at the namaste tree. Oh, tree, you're so beautiful. Now I'm looking at him and I can barely see him. Mm -hmm. I gotta sit down, I think, to see him. Ah, there we go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> All right, have a lovely rest of, oh, sorry guys, I know I'm whipping this around, this camera around. Have a good rest of your day. Enjoy the scenery wherever you're at. Mm -hmm. Wishing you lots of positive flow vibes and connection. Mm -hmm. Connection. Thank you, you guys. Thanks so much. <laughs> Thanks for entertaining me. <laughs> lots of love to each and every one of you. <laughs> Thank you. Bye now. <laughs>